I'm Michelle Roboto and I absolutely support the policy change to allow parents to record their children's IEP and 504 meetings. Now on the CPS website, you'll see the values, the non-negotiable family principles that guide us. And one of those is transparency. Yet something that is at the very core of my child's education is not transparent. Now I've, been, I've heard that, you know, you put the recorder on the table, it's going to make people uncomfortable, it's going to make some things adversarial. But I, I disagree with that. I have good relationships with my, with my children's teachers. We don't just talk just at the IEP meetings. We have conversations, we email, we know what's going on. So if, if that would create an adversarial relationship, then that is because there was a problem in that relationship to begin with. Also, not, fe not feeling free to talk. Um, if you are concerned about saying something in a meeting, then most likely you shouldn't be saying it in that meeting anyway. Now, the recording is not new. It's happened all across the United States. Missouri's just a little behind in the efforts. And those states that do record, they don't report any problems with their, with their recordings or the people not participating. I've also been told, oh, you can have another meeting. Yeah, we can have another meeting, but that is so much work. You've got so many schedules to work around. Usually it takes weeks to get schedules together, plus they take place in the work day. So you have work schedules of the parents and taking time off work or trying to rearrange schedules. And that is so difficult just to clarify things. Now, in my case, I would have, a recording would have saved us four meetings. It was simply a matter of was this said, was this not said that was going to agree to. And it took four meetings to get that figured out when a recording would have saved all of that. Now, under federal law, yes, you can, if you have a disability, be allowed to record those meetings. But those parents that have disabilities may not want the school to um, have that information. They, don't, they may not feel that it's relevant and they shouldn't be required to say that. Also, um, I understand the various factors and various feelings of all the other people in the meeting, but really it comes down to the fact that these meetings are not the school's meetings. They're not my meeting, they are my child's meeting. And to allow us and my child to have that meaningful participation as required under federal law, then I fully support that the policy be changed to allow parents to record their children's IEP and 504 meetings.